I decided to head a few miles north of Eshkoret to continue my adventures at Rio Secreto, where you can actually journey below the surface of the earth. Rio Secreto means secret river, and it's secret because it runs through an underground cave. So it's fresh water in the cave, yeah, and not seawater. Actually, you can drink that water. What about the old myth that everyone says, don't drink the water in Mexico? Yeah, well, this is different water. This is natural water that came from the rain. How are Bridget? you doing? Very good. Nice to meet you, Bridget. You Welcome too. to Rio. Thank you. They I'm told excited. You what you're going to do today? Well, I know we're going in a cave, uh -huh. and there's going to be water, so I'm going to need to wear a wetsuit. Exactly. Muy bien. Muchas gracias, Rodri. Muy amable. Okay, darling. Okay. So you have to basically wear your swimsuit with the wetsuit. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And then it's better if we take a shower first okay. before putting it on. It's easier to put it on once you're wet. Okay. <laughs> Is it fresh. cold? It's a little fresh. We like uh -oh, to call it fresh. fresh. <laughs> we like to call it cold, right? We don't need to... Okay, so wetsuit time? Wetsuit time, darling. Okay, let's try it. Very, very tight. Yes, they must be tight so they keep you warm, darling. They put the layer of water in between you and the skin and then it warms up. Exactly. Oops. There we go. Oh, it's so cool in here. This looks beautiful. It's a sacred place for the Mayan. The Mayans drink water from these holes, from these caverns, and that's why it's so sacred for them. People go there for ritualistic purposes. Purposes. Well, I'm really sure. excited. Let's, Let's get started. Go. Yeah. Let's go. This is a natural type of entrance. It's a collapsed type of entrance because roofs penetrate and then the roof collapses. This is so neat. Are you allowed to touch stuff? No, no we touch. can't touch okay. because the chemicals in our skin will just destroy everything we touch. No tocar. I'll show you. No tocar, senorita, por favor. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is cool. It's an incredible place. You know, I thought it would smell kind of mildewy or moldy, but it doesn't. No, actually the water is really crystalline because it gets filtered through the limestone. This is the clearest water I've ever seen. Can you drink it? Yeah, sure. Right now? Look. It's tasty? It's perfect. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like water. Filtered water. <laughs> actually, Very cool. Good. And lots of calcium for good body. Yeah, oh, you're going to be strong. Yeah. It's an amazing place, and now you see these dunes. They are forming the same way of the stalagmites, except that there is some water, so it's a kind of sedimentation, and they are really delicate. Now, look at this incredible palace, and uh. these are baby stalactites. These are the straws that I told you at first. Oh, yeah. Right? And this is how they get born. So right? gorgeous. It's so incredibly nice. It comes all the way out. Wow. Right? I didn't make this. <laughs> It's already made. <laughs> they look like candles. Yes. I mean, if you s set your mind free, everything looks like something in here. There's a lot of naughty shapes in here. Here, there are lots of baby stalagmites being born, right? There is a dripping here of the stalagmites, so we're just gonna cross on one side. Is that all the yellow spots? The yellow spots are baby stalagmites. They are being born. We try to protect them, so we go that way. Here you go. This is gorgeous in here. It's an amazing place. Oh, wow. It's beautiful, right? It's really beautiful. Come down here, darling. It's a little fresh. Woo! Let's swim, darling. Careful, because there could be some formations on the floor as well. Oh, okay. This is amazing. Wow, just look where we're swimming, darling. So beautiful. All of these formations. The water's so nice and cool. I'm just floating here. Yeah. Ah! Oh, my gosh. It looks amazing on one hand.
then on the other hand, I feel like, oh my god, I'm about to be impaled. This is a sacred ceremony. I'll be guiding you, okay? Everybody's beautiful. It's weird. Do you start to make shapes out of these? Like, I start to see animals and... Some people see some lions. Some and... people see some deers, <laughs> right? Some people see other things. Yeah, I've oh seen some naughty things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, darling, here, I want uh, to do a little experiment with you. Okay. I would like you to sit facing me and um, well if you could switch your light off please for a sec oh wait where's the there we go i would like you to touch it feel the ground oh. feel feel the soil and this right. isn't sand it feels like sand but it's really just it's just like calcium. calcium now um i'm keeping my light on for some minutes i just okay. want to tell you in mirrors of water like this, the old man, which is a priest in Mayan, man is priest in Mayan, would come to mirrors of water like this just to, in their trances, foresee what's next for their people, oh. right? So they would see images in the, in the water? In the water. Okay. So I'm gonna shut my light off, right? And then you'll understand what the, about the essence of this cave. Okay. Right? Yes. You ready? I'm ready. One. Wow. Oh, that looks crazy. It looks amazing on one hand. On the other hand, I feel like, oh my God, I'm about to be impaled. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is my favorite favorite place to meditate, you see, because right. of the tranquility of it. Yeah, it's so quiet in here. You can hear every little drop. It's crazy, too, because you don't know whether it's day or night in here. Yes, and you can get really disorientated in darkness. And lost. <gasps> well, do you remember your way out of here? I pretty much guess so, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course I do, my friend. <laughs> 